Hello and welcome to my first tutorial video about immersive engineering. This will be a getting started video where I will cover ores, how to treat ores, how to multiply ores, coke oven, blast furnace, uh, some machines up to the arc furnace and that's kind of a big step but I want to cover it since this is a video about ores and how to handle them and this it will be used to make alloys and stuff. So let's get started with the ores, all right? We have five types of ores that comes with the mod, copper, bauxite, lead, silver and nickel. If you mine them and you smelt them then of course you will get exactly what you expect. Aluminium from bauxite and lead from lead and silver and so on. So nothing strange with that, just as you expect. But the first thing you should, should craft is the hammer. It will be required for various, various things. So just craft it very early. It's very easy. Sticks, iron, string, and then you'll be up and running. The first th two things I will cover is the coke brick and the blast brick, and they will be used to build the coke oven and the blast furnace. Recipe wise, they are quite simple. Clay, brick and stone for the coke brick and then bricks, nether bricks and blaze powder for the blast furnace. Um, yeah, I will have a marked area here with concrete. You don't need to have concrete. It's just what I used right now. I will come back to concrete later. Like that, a very solid 3x3x3 three by three by three multi-block structure, like that. And then just take your hammer and give it a good whack on the side and then you are done with your coke oven and your blast furnaces. So what do you do with these? First of all, this is the coke oven is used to make two things. Either you put in some wood, this will give you charcoal and a small amount of creosote oil. The other thing you can do is to put coal in it, like that, and then you, that will give you coal cokes and more creosote oil. The creosote oil will be used at the, in the final step in this video, but don't worry about that right now. In the now when we have the coal cokes, we can just place some iron in the blast furnace and that will give us the steel. You can also do some more creative things up here. I have a hopper that sucks from, from the top oven into this chest. As you can see here, we're getting blocks of coal coke. It's because I have blocks of coal in here. And you might have noticed that I have glass bottles as well. They are feeded from this hopper to the side, into this side. And when the creosote oil reaches one, one bucket, the bottle is filled and then output together with the coal block or the block of coal coke. Down here, as I said before, we have made charcoal and uh, Creosote bottles. The blast furnace, you can both use charcoal and coal cokes, but coal coke is uh, more efficient. You need three charcoal per coal coke to be as efficient. You can also use the blocks of coal coke here. They will be even more efficient. As you can see, 12,000 ticks and compared to 1,200 ticks here, and you need nine to make one block. So you can go with blocks, more convenient, and you probably need several ovens, not only one, because this process is very slow. Okay, we have steel, we have coal cokes, we have creosote oil, it's time to move on. The steel fence is made out of steel ingots only, simple, scaffolding, steel fence and steel ingots, also easy and simple. 
and then the light engineering blocks, copper, iron, and more copper and iron. So imp simple, iron, steel, and copper. This, with all this, you can build the crusher, our first machine in this video. So let's, yeah, let's begin with how to build it. You have all this in the manual, how to build this. Crusher, here we have it already. So this will cover exactly how, how you should build it. And light engineering blocks, scaffolding in this pattern. Next level, engineering blocks and steel fences and more engineering blocks. Third level, nine hoppers, and then we are done. To give it, to make it really done, you need to whack it with the hammer exactly on this block or on this block. Nice. Here is where we feed the power through this input and the output comes yeah, here. So let's take everything from the, this side. I'm using redstone energy cells in this video since it's very convenient and not covering the energy part at all in this video. I have saved that for, <laughs> for a different video. Uh, you have no interface in this one. If I try to enter it, I will just place blocks. So you can't really do anything, but it's still very functional. Up here, we throw things. Gold, two gold grits. This is the pulverized form of gold. And when we smelt this in a furnace, we will get two. So this is the ore doubling process in its simplest form in a quite manual form as well. And throw silver in there. We'll get two silver grits. And then we can just throw lots of stuff in here. Silver, copper, bauxite, more gold, coal, emerald, diamonds, lapis, redstone, even coal coke. All this ends up in here. And uh, let's see, gold and silver. This we know from before that you can combine to get Electrum. And we also have the other thing. We have Copper and Nickel. These two can be combined to make Constantan or Constantin. These two can just be simply smelted in a furnace. Electrum Grit to Electrum Ingots and Constantan to Ingots as well as you expect. You can also make other things. As you can see, we get some nice outputs from the diamond ores and the coal ores and redstone lapis, quite good output. We also got the coke, coke dust from the coal coke that I threw in. These things are from thermal expansion, the or foundation, obsidian, pulverized coal. So you can get them from here as well. So I think that's it for the crusher. We have new materials. I think it's time to move on. But if, before we do that, I just want to mention that we have between the blast furnace and the arc furnace, there will probably come another machine and another multi block structure, I guess, that is kind of a mid tier between those two. So, but it's not in yet and will probably come in a while but I can't really wait for it. <laughs> so just be prepared for that. And now we can make more things. We can make blocks of steels and we can make slab and heavy engineering blocks. Now we have plenty of steel and we have ore doubling and everything. Just blocks and slabs are made as you can expect. And the heavy engineering blocks is made from pistons, electrum, and lots of steel and a little copper. All right, that means that we can actually craft or build the arc furnace. It's a very complex and very expensive multi-block, but it's also very good because we will use it to to make to get ore doubling. We can make alloys directly instead of making grit. So 
basically you build it with the slabs, a cauldron, scaffolding, heavy and light engineering blocks. We have blocks of steel and more engineering blocks, more steel, scaffolding, engineering blocks. And when you have built all this, take your hammer and move to the cauldron. This will give us the arc furnace. Now we can actually start here on the back. This is the power input from the, in these three blocks. We have the output into this block. Now I'm using a hopper to just dump it into a chest. But you can have a chest directly where I have the hopper. Um, I just want to be able to open it. Here we get slag. And that's a side byproduct from when we are handling ores. And you use it to make concrete. Slag, clay, gravel and water, concrete. Remember, I used it over there for decoration. Then we can move to the front. We have a lever here. You can see uh, that this red button is actually a redstone signal input. If we turn the lever on, things won't work. See, where can nothing is happening, but as soon as we turn it off again, our electrum will start to melt. So if we take silver, gold, we can actually put them directly in here and we will get output. Let's see, we had one ore in there and we'll get double directly. Come on, yep, there we have it. Two gold outputs. So here we can make our uh, ores, we can double it directly or we can make alloys. So let's uh, make some something again. Here is the ingredient, the main ingredient, and here is the reagent that we combine with. So if we combine gold with the silver, we will get electrum. And this is, you can do this with ingots and you can mix some of the things, not everything, you can't mix ores with grit, I think, but this is how you mix it at least. Um, if we take some coke dust and have a few iron in here, like that, then we will get steel output. Coke dust, iron, we don't need the blast furnace anymore. But again, this is a much later step. So uh, you will probably use the blast furnace for quite some time. So now we can see, now we're getting steel here. I had some here before, but we're getting one each time. So the final thing to mention about this arc furnace is the graphite electrodes. Electrodes. Um, they will be, they are consumable reagent or you, it's a part of the machine that you need to have or it won't work at all. As you can see, our constant hand is not, it's not working at all until we place these electrodes. And now it's running again. But how do we craft them? Well, it's not that easy. You need some, be, need to be adventurous or lucky. You need to have another machine. So let's begin to go through that. The industrial squeezer, iron. Piston, iron mechanical components, nothing strange or hard with this. So nine light engineering blocks at the bottom, eight industrial squeezer blocks with around one engineering. And then we have the engineering blocks again. Give it a whack with a hammer and our industrial squeezer is finished. Now this will be used to make other things as well, not only the electrodes, but in this video I won't cover that at all. So now, let's see, we need some, some, um, oh here, coke dust. Throw your coke dust into the squeezer and this, it will start to work. Don't bother about this right now, because right now I'm only after the hop 
graphite dust. This is the output directly and it's quite fast as well. So what we'll do with this, you just smelt it in a furnace to get hop graphite ingots and then final step in the engineer's workbench which I haven't covered yet. Take four of your uh, new ingots, your graphite ingots and place them in here and you will get one electrode. Simple, easy, but the adventurous part comes with the blueprint. Now there are three types of blueprints. These three, at least at the moment. The first one for projectiles can be crafted, paper, lapis and so on. But this one required to do graphite electrodes. You have to find it in a dungeon chest or trade with a villager to find it. So it won't come easy. You will take some time to get it, I think. But once you have it, put it into workbench and then we can make our electrodes. And um, all right, how to craft the workbench? Well, that's where you need the creosote oil that we did before because you need the, the treated wood. And treated wood is made out of wood and creosote oil. So that's what you need to make the workbench. And with that, I think I am done for with this video. Um, I took it from a very basic step to a very late game step that as the arc furnace is. But I wanted to cover the entire chain of ore processing and ore alloys and so on. And then, then you need these two as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions about this mod, feel free to leave a comment. I will do more videos in the same playlist about, well, regarding the other aspects of the mod. Power, biodiesel, and so on. So, thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Take care, bye bye.